Hi there everyone, what's up? This is Sudeep welcoming you to our one and only VFX learning channel Visual Arts Taylor. This week is very special for us because it's Christmas time. And to make it even more special, I am here with another beautiful and interesting After Effects tutorial that can literally cheer you up. In today's video, I will show you how to create knitted pattern effect inside Adobe After Effects which you can basically add on top of any image or artwork or even it can be applied on top of an animation. Okay, so let's not waste any time and jump into the first step which is building the knit. So first thing first, we will create a composition, rename it to main comp, 1920, 1080, 30 FPS, and 10 second one frame will be great for now and now I will import an image I have downloaded it from the internet you guys can also do that or you can create your own vector artwork inside Adobe Illustrator and just simply import it into After Effects then I will add an adjustment layer and I will call it neat texture and now I will add few effects to this adjustment layer. Let's apply CC ball action and instantly you can see this pixelated looks. Now let me zoom in to 100% so that you can see what's going on. Now if I come over to the effect control panel and turn the ball size down to around 57 you can see this effect is splitting up the graphics into bunch of circles and if I increase grid spacing the circles get bigger for now I am gonna leave it to 4 alright I will zoom this comp out to fit and one thing I want to point out quickly that I am viewing my comp at full resolution and I suggest that you also work in full resolution so that you can see how the final result looks like. Okay, we need to add another effect. Let's search for wave warp and apply this to the adjustment layer. Here you can see that this effect is warping the image. Now just let me turn off the ball action to show you clearly what is going on, especially here. At the top you can see that it's warping in a kind of oscillating motion I will change the wave type from sine which is giving this curved warp to triangle and this looks like more jagged there's no curving with this warp cool and if I move ahead in this comp you can see that this effect is actually animated the wave is actually moving as the time goes on. I want to turn this wave speed off. So I'll put the value of wave speed to zero. Now let's turn on ball action effect once again and zoom in a little bit to see how these two effects are gonna work together. Right now you guys can see that this wave is going up and down every three or four circles around but we want it to happen every two circles to create the neat pattern properly and now we have to change wave width value down to somewhere like uh, 14 yeah now you can see it's already looking good and if we adjust wave height to somewhere like a five yes look how this knit pattern uh, is looking better right now so very simply with those two effects we can achieve this neat looking pattern but the problem is if I want to change the size of knitting I have to adjust the grid spacing let's say if I change uh, the grid spacing to uh, 4, you can see 
that the wave warp is not landing properly and for that I have to change wave height and width respectively and and for that I will go to knit texture expand it now I will give it some room here and I will press alt and left mouse button click on top of uh, the stopwatch of wave width and now I will drag the peak wave to create spacing and now to do the math correctly I will multiply the value of grid spacing with 2 then whatever the value come out I will add another 2 with that so if we check the math here grid spacing value is 4 multiplied by 2 is 8 plus 2 is 10 that is exactly what our wave width value is and if we change the grid spacing value to 6 according to the math it should be 6 multiplied by 2 which is 12 plus 2 is 14 if we change it to 5 now you can see the wave width immediately change to 12 because 5 multiplied by 2 is 10 plus 2 is 12 so we can basically see that the expression is working perfectly and for the wave height I have found another solution that the wave height value should be exactly the half of wave width value so we can simply put an expression for that just drag the peak wave to wave width and simply type divide by 2 and see the magic and now if I change the grid spacing value to 6 once again see how immediately uh, the wave height and width value change automatically now one thing I will mention here that if you zoom in closer you'll see that the pattern is a little bit offset here so we'll actually change the phase for wave warp to negative 9 that's it and now I will set the grid spacing value to 4 and it will automatically change the wave height and width value automatically and it is done here so we don't have to think about it again and now we will move further and add another effect turbulent displace to add some imperfection on it just change the displacement amount to somewhere like 34 and down the size to 2.0 so that it gives very very subtle amount of effect we don't need any bigger displacement here and you can see how this effect is giving a natural look to the knit pattern now as you can see that the knit texture is ready so I will simply select both the image and the adjustment layer and press ctrl shift C to create a precom let's rename it knit texture and now and now basically there's no background there as you can see the transparency grid below so I will create a new solid layer and select a darker value of red there you can choose whatever according to your artwork and now I will select 
both of them once again and create another precom and rename it bg filler you can choose whatever you like and with this i will move to the next part of this video where i will create yarn texture for this knitted pattern and for that i will simply create a solid change the color to white and i will apply venetian lines here i'll add this effect change the transition to somewhere like 50 and the direction to 90 degree and change the width value to somewhere like 10 would be good and now i will add another wave warp and this time i will change the wave type to noise and put the height value around 30 to 32 and change the width value somewhere near 30 which will be great and this time we won't change the wave speed just keep it as it is and i will change the pinning to all edges and obviously you guys can see that the wave is moving here now i will simply add another black solid and put it below the white solid and actually the effect is ready here i will simply select both of the solid layers and create a pre-comp rename it yarn texture i will select the pre-comp go to the first frame right click on it go to time freeze frame it will actually stop the web effect from animating and now change the layer mode to overlay but it looks too much right now so i simply press t and down the opacity back to around 40 35 and if you zoom in a little bit you can see the subtle change on the artwork yeah that's good now i will add some effects before finishing the project and give it a final look so i will create an adjustment layer once again add unsharp mask change the radius way up to around 411 or something and down the amount to somewhere like 20 and you can immediately see the change now i will simply add a glow effect on top of it change the glow intensity to 0.2 change the glow threshold to somewhere around 67 and the glow radius to 15 and now i will add a vignette effect cc vignette apply it now i will modify the amount and the angle of view until i find out the sweet spot there and you guys can actually do this in another way let's just turn the cc vignette effect off and search for cc spotlight and with a little bit of modification in the attribute you guys can actually get a beautiful result you can see the result here now here you can actually see the result with the spotlight and now the vignette and if i apply uh, both of them it will actually look much darker and we don't want that so i will basically keep the vignette turn on and that's it i will simply select all of those layers and 
put them inside another precom and I will rename it to knitted pattern and now the pattern is ready and one thing I want to mention here that if I go back to the knit texture precom and uh, and if I uh, select the image and uh, create a precomp here and let's say drop your image here and now if I simply close all the other comp and just open and go inside this precom and let's import another image let's go with that and if I go back to the main comp you can see that the knitted pattern automatically applied over it so basically what I have done here I just created a template there and if you simply put your imported artwork inside that precom it will automatically give you the result here you don't actually have to repeat it all the time here you can see a few works that I have made with this beautiful knitted pattern effect so that's it for today if you have found the video useful then please don't forget to hit the like button and share it with others if you are new to the channel then please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you can get notification as soon as I upload a new video watch the lesson carefully and create your own artwork and share it with me before 31st December I will give shout out to five best artworks and also tag them on my community page both Instagram and Gmail link are given in the description so I'll end the video here Merry Christmas to everyone in advance see you in the next video bye bye